guys, what is going on here? So today we're actually going to be doing something different and we're going to be preparing what Nintendo Switch is right for you to buy. So, and also we also have all of these um, Nintendo Switch games and we've never had a chance to display all of them at, in one chance, in one shot. And also if you would put down in the comments which one you, you would like to see. So first we have the Nintendo Switch. This is the original Switch, so if you have, it's like you like, if that is, if you like correcting original, this one would probably be the right one for you. Why would, so why would you want to buy the, a, an original Nintendo Switch? Well, the first reason is because it is the original. Another, another reason is that it can be docked or handheld. Also, it has a kickstand. Finally, the Joy-Con cons come off. And also, guys, oh, no. and also, um, docked, docked means um, it can be placed. Um, and also, guys, look. It also, this is the what the kickstand looks like. And guys, this is what the kickstand looks like on it. Oh, why not to buy The first reason is because the screen is not bright. Also, the kickstand comes off very easily. Finally, the Joy Cons are detachable. So I have very like a few times accidentally ripped off the entire kickstand. Thankfully, you can put it back on. Which but is it's good. still very easy. Yeah. Wait, pause, pause, pause. I'm putting it in here. And and one more. Also, we should say it doesn't have a kickstand. The only kickstand that really has is this, but that. That's some micro speaker. Yeah. Why to buy? The main reason I would say to buy it is it is handheld. It's really cute. And there, so there's no Joy Cons. So, like, it doesn't get Joy Con drift. And also, it's the cheapest. It gives you one of that switch. But why you don't want to buy it is it does not dock, so you can't play it on TV. And it doesn't. Also, it doesn't support games like Super Mario Party, Just Dance, and Nintendo Switch Sports. Finally, it does not have a kickstand, which you can see right the back here you, in the this, back. This it's all flat. Yeah. Here is the old one. This is the most expensive in the Switch collection at $350, but in my opinion, it is totally worth it. Uh, and also, it has like this really, really good kickstand. It's seven inches wide. And also, so it comes with these beautiful white Joy-Cons. Where you can get it with red and white and a black dock. I'm going to show you. Why to buy the first reason it the kickstand is widely, very widely improved. Another reason is the screen is an OLED screen. Also, you can dock it, so like you can play it on the TV. Finally, the Joy Cons come off, and they're a beautiful white. Why not to buy it? The Joy Cons get drift. Also, it is seven inches, so it it is bigger and can't use some push accessories. And the other only downside is it's the most expensive at three hundred fifty dollars. So if you Henry, please, um, if you don't, if you're on a budget, uh, it might not be the best. But in my opinion, it's totally worth the money. So now here is what we think to buy. So you want to buy a Nintendo Switch? Do you want to play a docked or handheld? If you want to play a dock like all the time, just get the Nintendo Switch. It will save you fifty dollars. Then you can spend that money on a game. If you want to play it handheld, it's probably the o OLED with the light. The light is just like for a, the a handheld, so but the, the OLED has a bigger screen, and it's an LED screen. But if you want to do both. I very strongly suggest the Nintendo Switch OLED. Henry's going to say more about the white. And also, so the white is basically just only, it's basically the, the only thing you, so you can't really play it with friends, or, but it, so that's why it's a hundred dollars cheaper. But, and really don't, you can't play it detached. 
So you really can only play a handheld, and that, and if you really like to play a handheld like me, I would, I, I very strongly su suggest you get the Nintendo Switch Lite. More and OLED. Yeah. But if you just love to just play handheld, there's a Nintendo Switch Lite I would get. I very strongly suggest, and you can use that extra hundred dollars on on what on a game or two. So as I was saying for the next part of the video, I literally just accidentally broke the kickstand. So how you fix this is you push it in like this, and then just snap it in like it normally does. And now is. Now the kickstand is bland back on. Okay. Not sure if that makes sense, but okay. So, as you can see, there are many different choices for many different options. My favorite, personally, is the OLED. I just really suggest it with the better screen and all the like upgrades it has. But also, but also do is something else. It's not a switch. But it would be a very, but it would be a lot harder to do with the Nintendo with on um, the Nintendo Switch OLED. It is Nintendo Switch Labo. They're very fun to make and create. So, and they don't, and, and they're not hard. And then, like for the Labo like this, it's a VR headset. Yeah. So look, let me show you how it works. So look, so let me show you how it works. So for me, I took these two. So you take the joy cons off, and then you and then push you it in. Saw, but first, you have to put down the kick Close stand. Close this in, and then, and then you just this slide it in. And we have Mario Kart in. Oh wow, this actually looks so cool. It actually looks really cool. We can't show you, but it looks really cool with Mario Kart in. in. But um, and it also comes with the game card, and there's a bunch of different games. Uh, and each different Nintendo Labo comes with something different, too. Uh, so Nintendo free advertisement. Uh, but, um, I know this is what some people think. If you're buying a Switch, don't buy the original. Like, it's just because it's, uh, all the, all it does, like, basically everything it does, but just has better things. So, I'm probably saying, do not buy this. Get it out of here. Well, not, well, I mean, if you really don't feel like paying half the $50, it's fair. And also, okay, so now we're down to the... The light also comes with two. These, we're coming with these, the, we're down to the two. light and OLED. So now we're down to the yes. OLED and the light. So these are the two consoles that I would really suggest considering when I was buying my OLED, this beautiful thing right here, I was between the Switch OLED and the light. Mainly because there's a $150 price difference, so that's what was really driving me. But I, in the end, decided to go to the OLED because it's bigger screen. Like, if you look at this, Look at it. Like the screen is basically just the whole thing but one Joy-Con off from this thing. And also, um, it is a vet in it and just saying and also the Nintendo Switch Lite is a tad bit smaller, but makes it a little more comfortable to play handheld. Like look, you play like this and you feel it perfectly. And now you, move, you can move your hands up and down perfectly. But then, one big thing with the OLED, I feel, is if you push, you can use the kickstand, take it out, and then just start playing it handheld. Like right now, I could go in. And you can also. I could just. Could, really I just connect it and then like hop into Mario Kart. And just, and just start. And then just start playing with Henry right now. 
Like, so we can just start running right now, and it can be like this. So that is one of the better things about this. I feel not yeah. Um, the kickstand is really nice. So guys, um. But also, you guys don't have to do any of these. You, so if you guys, so you guys just go ahead. You guys ahead can do whatever you want, but this is our suggestion. There are many other videos on which one to buy and everything. So you can see those. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope it's helpful. And we'll see you guys again soon. And subscribe! Octogamer7257.